Hello everyone, this is Shannon from Not So Poe, and today I'm doing my TBR for Space Opera September. This is a readathon run by Thomas at SFF 180. I'm going to link Thomas's announcement video and all of the other relevant information below. He has been running Space Opera September for the past few years. It's a lot of fun, and this year he's introduced a bunch of new kind of challenges, things like buddy and battle reads, all sorts of cool stuff. I'm not going to be doing the challenges this year because I just need to focus on getting a couple of things read. So this is going to be my TBR with a couple of high priority books and then a few others that I might get to if I have time. So the two books that I for sure want to get to in September are The Faded Sky and The Relentless Moon by Mary Robinette Cole. These are books two and three in the Lady Astronaut series, and The Relentless Moon is nominated for Best Novel in the Hugo Awards this year, so I for sure want to get to that one. But I also need to read book two first. So this is part of a series that is alternate history science fiction set in the 1950s in the US, um, but really the whole world where a meteorite has hit Earth and caused a really accelerated huge amount of effort put into the space race because the Earth is going to become uninhabitable in like a decade because of all of the changes to cause huge amounts of warming on Earth. So the space race accelerates and that means that kind of everybody is needed, including women and people of color. And so this follows some women who become astronauts. So I'm very much looking forward to continuing in this series and reading these two books so that I can read the novels for the Hugo Awards. Then I have three other books that are kind of stretch goals for me, so if I end up having time, I would love to get to these. The first is The Vanished Birds by Simon Jimenez. This is another book that I'd like to read for the Hugo Awards. Simon Jimenez is eligible for Best New Author, so I'd love to read this work. It is set in a spaceship and follows a woman who has been traveling in space for a long time, so long that, you know, everybody back home is um, passed away because of the way that time works. Um, and so she's kind of very isolated and alone until one day she finds a very mysterious young boy who doesn't talk, he only plays music. Um, and there seem to be some other people who want this boy as well. So it sounds like it's going to be some form of found family and just really, I don't know, it, it sounds very emotional and moving. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. Next, I'd still really like to get to A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. I have put this on TBRs before, and I just really would like to get to it. This is um, a really great series all about uh, political intrigue and a lot of issues of imperialism, and it sounds like this second book in the Texcalon series is also going to involve a lot about communication across species, and I just, I'm so looking forward to to it. And lastly, I'd like to read Stars in My Pocket Like Grains of Sand by Samuel R. Delaney. I actually started this book a couple of months ago, but I had to pause it because I had other things that I needed to focus on. And this book was just a little bit uh, slow and dense and required some concentration that I wasn't able to give it before. So I'd love to get back to this if my mind is in the right reading space. Even if all I do is read a little bit of it, I would count that as very much of a win because I want to make progress on it. I very much like Delaney's writing, even though it demands quite a bit out of you. Okay, so those are the books that I would love to get to in September for a Space Opera September. If you guys are participating in Space Opera September, or if you have read the books that I am planning to read, if you have any thoughts, anything at all, just leave me a comment down below.